Greetings! Today I will be trying out to make a PCB yet again, but in a different way. So this is an idea that uh, came to my mind a while back uh, when I was trying out the tin plating solution. Um, it's in one of my previous videos. I'm gonna try out the cards and put them somewhere. The idea is I'm gonna take the entire PCB, plate the whole thing as a first step, uh, so cover it in, uh, in a tin, then using a sharp point and the pantograph I'm going to score the lines for that purpose I've just took a drill bit and on the back end of it I've sharpened it to a very fine point so that should score very nice thin fine lines if this works we should be left with a very fine spacing between the tracks I will edge this afterwards after scoring it and hopefully the tin plating should act as a uh, edge resist and uh, stop the entire board getting eaten up. Now if this turns out to be a miserable disaster I'll still pause the video just in case someone else had the same idea and yeah just save you from trouble but if it works it should be an interesting looking PCB. Here I have my tinning box, my tin plating solution. Before we start let's uh, give the board, the PCB, the copper a really nice fresh look small strip of 1200, 1200 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to give it a nice brush across the whole board here I loaded it into the pantograph and I've got the same PCB as the in the previous video so let's begin what I have to do is trace out all the outlines and see how that goes And let's see how that looks. Well, that actually looks promising. And here is it all scratched off. Now, what I found is it's very difficult to actually tell whether it's scratched off through to the copper or not, because depending on what angle you look at it, some of the lines are, have got that coppery color and some of the lines just, um, yeah, seem silver, but um, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to dip it now into the ferric chloride and see what happens. And here is the Senogs bag with ferric chloride. Ultra convenient thing. So let's open the top cover. I just uh, gave it a, a bath in hot tap water just to make it that little bit more active. We'll drop the board in, slide the clip on, remove the center clip and we can etch. Let's see what will happen. It is doing some reaction with With the tin plating. Oh dear. It's eating away the tin plating completely. No. I am going to stop the experiment right here because it ate the tin plating solution or the tin, plate, tin plating uh, compound. You might be laughing at me right now, uh, thinking, well, what did you expect? Well, I didn't know. I didn't, th didn't think um, that it would eat away the tin or whatever that, that thing was. Uh, but it does eat away tin rather quickly. So I'm going to take this off and save that board for later. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll try this again with covering the entire board in some sort of resist, maybe a, some sort of maybe some sort of paint, and try it again. But uh, yeah, as far as this, it's a failed idea. So it is not going to work. So I guess uh, yeah, as I promised. If it fails, I'll still post it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this failed experiment. Please do subscribe for more random electronics related stuff. 
but for this video unfortunately that's it yeah ferric chloride will eat away the tin plating from the board in case you didn't know well I know now take care